Welcome to the official personality guru. ENTJs are known for their assertiveness, ambition, and effective use of logic. These big picture intellectuals exude confidence and drive and have an intense focus on their goals. That is intriguing to other types. ENTJs are direct when they speak to people. They like to cut the chase and leave out unnecessary details that detract from the overall vision of what they're trying to express. Their communication is blunt, rational, and self-assured. Certain phrases and words bother ENTJs more than other phrases. Generally speaking, all types hate hearing the word calm down, relax, or you're being too sensitive. As I surveyed, Hundreds of people, I realized that every single one of them despised hearing those words. So, we won't include those in this list because they are so universally disliked. Today, let's talk about the things you should never say to an ENTJ. Before we start, subscribe to the official personality guru and ring the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. 1. Life is so unfair. ENTJs are highly independent and believe that everyone is responsible for making the most of their own life. Complaining, whining, and placing blame are infuriating to them. They believe everyone is responsible for their fate and is in charge of making the most of every opportunity and obstacle. 2. I don't have any goals. ENTJs will never understand this phrase. It doesn't fit into their understanding of how the world works. The quickest way to lose an ENTJ is to tell them, you don't have any goals or ambitions. They simply can't compute. That phrase doesn't exist in their minds. If you're dating an ENTJ, this is one of the biggest red flags you can throw out there. Similarly, if you are looking to be hired by an ENTJ, you have pretty much written the rejection letter yourself. Whatever the situation, when you're chatting to an ENTJ, you should avoid this phrase at all costs. 3. So I went here, and it was like this. And then this happened. And wow, that happened too. And, and... ENTJs get very impatient with numerous extraneous details. To stay on their good side, get straight to the point. They don't need to know what color shirt Aunt Thelma was wearing or how you got lost on your way to the house because you saw a pretty bird. And wow, that bird was really... Okay, no, just say what needs to be said. And if the detail isn't relevant to the main point, leave it out. 4. I have so many feelings I want to share with you. Nothing scares an ENTJ more than strong emotions and feelings. If you open up a conversation with an ENTJ by telling them how much you have to share with them, you're going to trigger panic mode in their heads. They hate feeling concerned and having to talk to about their emotions. If you want to open up a chat like this, you need to approach it a lot more subtly. 5. Let's change the subject. If an ENTJ is in the middle of discussing something important to them, then nothing is more infuriating than an interruption. TE and I does not like to be interrupted, derailed, or ignored. 6. I'll just do it later. ENTJs hate procrastination. They're all about getting the job done and hitting their targets, so if you tell an ENTJ that you're going to put off an important task until later and procrastinate on something that they need to get done, you're going to see their ugly side. For ENTJs, personality types, productivity, and efficiency are crucial. They hate the feeling that they're wasting time and the same goes for the people around them. There's nothing worse for ENTJs than unnecessary delays, so this phrase is a real no-no. You can think it in your head, but for your own sake, don't say it out loud. 7. Don't tell me what you think. Tell me what you feel. ENTJs find their emotional feelings irrelevant to most decisions. They don't generally lead with their heart and find people who do confusing and possibly irritating. It seems useless to them to explore their emotional preferences when it comes to decision making. This doesn't mean they have no heart. They certainly do but they find assessing their emotional needs an unreliable way to make decisions. 8. I don't care about my career. For most ENTJs, their career is one of their top priorities. If you tell an ENTJ that you don't care about work or what you're going to do in the future, be prepared for an extreme reaction. 
ENTJs will quickly freak out if you say something like this to them, so get ready for a flood of questions and confusion if you decide to say these six simple words. 9. I just need to vent. Just listen and stop trying to find a solution. ENTJs are natural solution seekers. It is painful for them to have to listen to someone, vent all their emotions and feelings without seeking a way to resolve them. Emotional venting with no rational solution in mind seems completely counterproductive to them and like a waste of time. Everyone needs to vent sometimes, even ENTJs, but usually, ENTJs feel annoyed or frustrated, even with themselves, when they do this. 10. I can't decide between... You know that feeling when you're out shopping and you can't decide between two pairs of shoes or you're in a restaurant and trying to pick what you want to eat? ENTJs don't. While this is a normal scenario for many people, for ENTJs, it's the worst kind of torture. There's nothing more agonizing to an ENTJ than indecisiveness. If you say a small phrase in front of an ENTJ, you'd better be prepared for them to grab one pair of shoes and take it straight to the counter or order your food for you just to end their pain. ENTJs are single-minded, focused, and disciplined, and indecisiveness is rare in their lives. That's not to say they don't struggle over big life decisions, but choosing what to eat or what to buy is not something they have problems with. They know what they want and they go for it, and they can't understand how everyone else isn't the same. 11. You need to lighten up. ENTJs are hard workers and determined to achieve their life goals. Life is meant to be utilized to the highest degree and wasted time, even in the form of light-hearted entertainment, is an anathema to them. They don't want to be told to lighten up or chill. They have ambitions and dreams and goals to accomplish. 12. Can you take a back seat on this? If you have an ENTJ on your team, you're in for a challenge. ENTJs love to take charge and they automatically organize the people around them to complete tasks and tackle issues head on. If you're managing an ENTJ, the quickest way to kill their interest in their job is to tell them they have to step back and disengage from a problem. While everyone must have an active role in your team, be warned that this phrase is not what ENTJs want to hear. 13. You can't do that. ENTJs are not extremely goal-oriented and ambitious, but they also aren't afraid to think outside the box. They detest being limited, underestimated, or stifled in any way. The more they are told they can't do something, the more likely they are to accomplish it just to prove their naysayers wrong. How about you? As an ENTJ or any other personality type, what are the things that you think people should never say to you? Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. 14. You have to. One thing to know about ENTJs is they're extremely self-confident, sometimes bordering on arrogant. This means they often have problems with authority. They dislike being told what to do and quickly get irritated if they feel like someone is dictating their actions. Whether at work or in relationships, be cautious about telling an ENTJ what they have to do. For this phrase, you just might find they do the absolute opposite. The NTJs don't like feeling like they don't have control over their own lives, so making rigid rules or requirements is a good way to make them unhappy quickly. If you want an ENTJ to do something, try rephrasing it to help them feel like they're part of the process. For instance, I think it would be a good idea to... What do you think? Though, it can seem annoying if you want to keep an ENTJ on your side, don't tell them what to do. Before we continue, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official personality guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. 15. Just share your feelings with me. ENTJs are extremely private about their own emotions and feelings and hate having to go into details about them on demand. Because introverted feeling or FI is the ENTJ's inferior function, it can be difficult for them to focus extensively on how things affect them emotionally.